Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the different phases of a compiler. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the introduction to compiler and how the language will be processed. Now we'll see the different phases of a compiler. See, the first phase is lexical analyzer so where the complete instructions will be divided into different tokens right so here the instructions will be divided into tokens right and from this the output of these tokens will be given to syntax analyzer syntax analyzer and here it will construct the parse tree parse tree and the same parse tree will be given as an input to the next semantic analyzer semantic analyzer so here the tree will be modified tree will be modified and the main thing is the type checking will be done type checking or type casting so that process will be done and this parse tree will be modified accordingly. So parse tree will be updated. Right? Based upon the type checking, the parse tree will be updated and the same thing will be given as an input to intermediate code generator. Intermediate code generator. So in this intermediate code generator, so a temporary variables will be taken and the instructions will be evaluated. Right? The temporary variables will be used and some sort of a code will be generated here and from that again it will go to the code optimization code optimization and by using this code optimization and the code the temporary variables the code written by using these temporary variables will be optimized optimized based on computation or a memory right so we can reduce the memory uh, requirement or we can reduce the number of computations right so in order to, uh, by reducing those things we will optimize the code which is given in the intermediate code generator and this optimized code from this optimized code we will go with the code generation code generation and here by using the three address code, by using the three address code, the instructions will be given. Right? So by using this three address code, the instructions will be returned. So this is the phase. Right? The first one is a lexical analyzer, syntax analyzer, semantic analyzer, intermediate code generator, code optimizer, and the code generation generation. So for all the things, only one uh, one thing is uh, input so that is yeah symbol table symbol table so from this symbol table the instructions will be given as an input to all these phases all these six phases so these are the six phases need to execute by the compiler right so here the symbol table means for example the instruction is some uh, C is equal to A plus B. You can see here a C, A, B are IDs. So here in the symbol table, in the symbol table, it will maintain all the tables, right? So ID, so this is one ID, 
right id1 is equal to id2 plus id3 right so id1 right and id2 see this is a, a id3 this is a b right and is equal to and the plus other operators so the instruction details the details of instructions will be maintained in the symbol table and from this symbol table the instructions will be given as a input to the lexical analyzer and in any phase in any phase if any error occurs so that will be given to the error handler so here there is a one more thing is there that is an error handler so i will just erase this one i will write down the error handler so because if there are any errors in any one of the stage right so that will be handled by the error handler so error handling mechanism right so this will this error hand, handling will handle the errors if any error occurred So that we will get the syntax errors. So once the syntax errors are rectified, then it will move with the next stage, right? See, so lexical analyzer, the tokens will be given, or we can say it as a lexemes, lexemes, lexemes. And here it is a parse string, parse string, and updated parse string. We can also call it as a syntax tree right and here it is a it will use a temporary variables temporary variables for the instructions and here it will be optimized code optimized based upon the computations or memory in both the cases it will be reduced and here we we'll get three address code that uh, instructions will be written as three address code so this is the phases of compiler six phases so lexical analyzer syntax analyzer semantic analyzer intermediate code generator code optimization and the code generation so let's stop here I hope you understood the from the symbol table the input will be there and if there are any error in these stages automatically that will be written uh, that will be taken by the error handler right and see so these are called nothing but a syntax errors so whatever the errors we got during the compilation are called syntax errors so we can simply rectify those errors it's very simple to identify and we can also easily easily solve those errors so let's stop here so hope you understood these uh, phases of uh, compiler so in the next session we'll see one example and we'll take one instruction single instruction and we'll see the output from each and every phase so how the instructions will be compiled so we'll take only one instruction and we'll see how the instructions will be compiled right so if you are having any doubt regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much